Well, hello everybody. It's Dustin here on Dustin's End Scale Railroad out and about in Des Moines today because I've decided I want to tackle a scratch build project. Now, I've been doing some scratch building. I've done some nice structures of houses and a few basic buildings here and there and a little bit of kit bashing now and then, but nothing too major. And I've been wondering, you know, do I want to do something a little bit more in depth? Do I want to keep playing it safe? Of course, I'm never going to uh, get better at what I'm doing unless I actually, pause for the truck here, unless I actually uh, take the time to actually do it. So I've decided there's a building near where I work. There's a nice ADM rail yard right across the street from where I work. And so I've decided today that I'm going to rip the Band-Aid off and I'm going to build that. Just that part right there. We'll talk about that more coming up here on part one of this ADM build. He runs diesel engines, so they don't go choo-choo. UP trains are yellow, and DMEs are blue. Dustin Tensco Railroad, where the railroad comes to you. All right, so now you've seen that monstrosity I intend to build. So how do we uh, figure out its measurements? Well, now this is something I know you've seen maybe a couple times, but we'll just review it anyway, what I plan to do. And so I go to Google Earth. That's the first thing we do. And then, well, I've got to go find the building. Well, being in downtown Des Moines, we go down here to Des Moines. If you know your bearings and where you're going, which I do, makes it just a little bit easier to zoom in on your facility. So there you go. Now we have the rendering of the, the facility, which you can see is quite large and expansive. But right now, I'm only focusing on this building right over here. Maybe I'll add more. I don't know because I've already got a grain complex. This is going to become part of my biofuels complex which is technically over here but i just like this building it has so much character and that's why i'm going with that one so here's what we're going to do we're going to double click this so over here on this little arrow key so that way you can manipulate where you're at and what you're looking at now i'm going to get screen captures from the top from the north side well northeast or northwest rather but it doesn't sit quite square with the world on the west side what I would consider the south side and also the east side. Now, if you'll notice, this thing has got quite a few layers, and I'm going to attack these layers in a certain way, but I, I may not have each one of these steps here. I may, I don't know yet. I haven't quite got that far. I'm going to look at my options and see how difficult it is to build. But basically what we're trying to do right now is try to figure out distances. Well, let's just give you an idea of what we do for one distance. And you guys can do this and figure it out and extrapolate it for you know every little section that you've got to do. But let's go into the 2D rendering. And let's go ahead and turn it just a little bit more so it's square with the world. And then let's say we want to get just the measurement of this building here. Okay? Now, it's not going to be absolutely perfect. You may have to do a little rounding because, again, this is a 3D generation model from you know, Google Earth, it's not exactly, they're not measuring it. Now this says it comes out to 111 feet. I earlier had 112 when I did it. But anyway, that's how you do it. You get it in feet, and then I take it over to the model train scale calculator from Exact Rail. Now being I'm doing N scale, you got all the scales. Oh, you got G, O, H, O, the European scales as well. But I'm going to go ahead and go to N scale because that's what I'm doing. Now I already had 112 feet earlier because I started doing this with just drawing it freehand, but then decided why not just use the printouts from the map and draw it on the diagram. So that's what I've decided to do. So then you hit calculate, and it, first it'll calculate out the inches in the feet, and then it'll come out to how far you've got to make it on the end scale. So that 112 feet is actually 8.4 inches here on that building. Now the whole thing, I know for a fact, I've already measured it out as 170 feet. And so 170 feet is 12 and 3 quarters inches. So I will have to go ahead and put those markings on the building, on the, on the pictures that I've printed out, and I'll show you that in just a second. But then the other thing you want to do is figure out how tall is this building. Let's say I want to figure out just how tall this spot is. What you want to do is look down here at this number right here. You see it says 249 meters. What this basically does is it gives you a height above sea level for what you're looking at, what you're touching with the cursor. Well, roughly 249, 250. And then let's go and go up here to the top of the building. 
top of the building says 274. So let's go ahead with 274 and 249. Okay, make it simple. That's 25 meters, right? So that's the difference above sea level. So we go and I use the meters to feet calculator that Google has. That says around 82 feet. So that's what we're going to estimate it to is 82 feet. Again, just like before, we plug it into here and we find out that that building needs to be 6.15 inches high. Now that kind of falls between, now if you want to get down to 60 fourths and all that and you're measuring, you can go ahead or you can round it down just a little bit and go to six and an eighth inches or you can round up just a, even a smidge more, which is actually closer and go to six and three sixteenths inches. And that's what I've decided to do. And so now we'll go ahead and start marking those measurements onto the paper. So now you can see that I've taken these printouts and my ink wasn't the greatest, so I started running out. But I started putting some of these measurements down. And I'm not going to show you every single piece that I've done. I'm still working on what would be considered the east side. But what I've done here is I've measured out like total width, length of that wall, uh, total height of that section, total height of that section, figured out the difference, figured out how, that, how much further that part sticks out over the top, that part sticks over the top. Because right now I'm probably just going to add that to the top of the building as you'd see from the east side, instead of trying to build the whole structure. But you also notice here on the east side, that those wall, these walls that we see over here are sloped. Just one meter difference from one side to the other, or basically a quarter of an inch of slope. So I have to take that into account as well. So what I'm thinking about doing, and I'm looking at this from the top more, I'm trying to get this from what would be the south facing north here. I'm thinking about building this section here, building that section there, try to figure out some kind of configuration for that section there, and then put these two on the top, or what would be these two just on the top. Of course, I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that, because as we know, further down, uh, we have uh, different different uh, layouts there, and in fact, I've, I think I left my sheets at home. I left my other sheets at home, so I'm not going to be doing them here at work, but, you know, I should be working anyway. But, so, I'm going to figure out these little contraptions, because as you see up here, let's just do it from here, these are different steps down, so it might be a little tough. I might just do this section here as one, or that section here with that as one section. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. But, again, this is, this is going to come later on as I look through the plans, and I'll let you know what I decide, but... Again, I'm writing out every single distance that I've got, the width, the the height. Yeah, that one arrow doesn't go all the way down, but I know what it means. And so I'm guessing where the bottoms are of this building. But the point is, that way I can start extrapolating that into cardboard, uh, if I can, to make a mock-up uh, of the building. So we'll uh, see where that goes from here. So now, right now, we're sitting here. And uh, I've got all my measurements done, lots of measurements done. Um, some of them had to be rechecked and rechecked. But anyway, so I went to uh, Target, and I got huge sheets of uh, poster board. This was a square picture. This is actually only half of what I had. But anyway, they're over there. And uh, I am cutting out uh, poster board uh, pieces right now. So I can start fitting it together and test fitting it, which you guys all know about. Try to do a test fit first and see how it goes before I use any of the uh, any of the styrene. So we'll uh, come back once this is built. So now that I've got the footprint basically done, I have done this mock up a little bit. There's some tweaking I got to do before I do the whole uh, setup of the rest of the roof and all that to get everything squared away, but. I'm going to finish the cardstock mock-up, or poster board mock-up. But I wanted to see, being I had the footprint basically done and all I had to do was build vertically yet, what's it going to look like with the rest of the ethanol plant? Will it even fit in the footprint of my ethanol plant? And it will. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I was wanting to do more with this, but I didn't know where to go with it. And I really like how this is going to look. Eventually when this actually gets done with the... Uh, actual styrene and the corrugated steel i think it's going to look really nice oops sorry about my finger there i think it's going to look really nice out there please don't mind the uh, tipped over i bumped it when i was setting everything in place but might be able to get one more bin in there don't know for sure but 
I'm pretty excited about how it's going to turn out. So I am going to finish the mock-up. That's where we'll start the next video in part two of this setup. And then we'll start working on the uh, building itself. So this is, may not be as bad as I thought. But again, I still got to get that roof and those upper parts done. So we're not close yet.